Here we have a Sagem uh, lamp unit uh, for lamp enclosure, which is out of the Sagem uh, rear projection TV. And uh, you'll find this in most Sagem uh, projection televisions uh, with the exception of HTD501. HTD501 is, is a slightly different kettle of fish and the housing and enclosure look different. Uh, otherwise, all the rest of the Sagem TVs that we use invariably this particular lamp unit. Um, I'm going to show you how uh, this lamp, uh, the replacement lamp, goes into this housing. So when these lamps reach the end of their life, they tend to pop that uh, arc tube inside. That tube will shatter and stay uh, inside the lamp itself, inside the glass. So that's when you know the lamp is gone. Or sometimes they reach the end of their life and that doesn't explode. It doesn't necessarily mean the lamp is okay. If you've not changed your lamp for two to three years, uh, you need a new lamp because this lamp have a <coughs> certain life uh, span which is about six to eight thousand hours typically so anyway here uh, I'll show you uh, how uh, here where we start there's a thin uh, metal rod in here which has a springy effect and that clamps the lamp down so if I push this down and pull it towards myself and let go it will go up and it's released yeah and then we pull it out just comes up uh, by itself and then uh, I as you see in here I turn the lamp towards the camera we've got a fuse in here so this side where the fuse is now I put my uh, left hand underneath the lamp and lift it up and with the other hand I push the lamp out so, and then I grab the mini pair of pliers and undo the knot and then I've got the Phillips screwdriver here to undo the screw which is on the side of the lamp there we go I release the cable and put the old lamp away and I grab the new lamp put the lamp face down you need to wear a pair of latex gloves to avoid direct contact with the body of the lamp I don't want to get too scientific about it uh, just don't touch the lamp with bare fingers it will reduce the lamp's life so here we have two cables, one short and one longer cable. The longer one always goes to the back of the neck of the lamp. If there is a washer, you use it. If there isn't one, it doesn't really matter. As long as that knot helps a good grip with the connection on the lamp. Here we go. Don't use too much force because you may damage the lamp. It will, they, they can they can break. Okay, now I grab the, this is the shorter cable of the two, which goes on the side of the lamp. And I'll show you in a second, there you go. Mm -hmm. I hold this connection so you don't damage it. And tighten it to be reasonably tight that it doesn't move there won't be any play so then uh, what you do you just grab the lamp and push it inside like that yeah okay and make sure the lamp is sitting flush yeah the face of the lamp is right the way down and then you grab the metal clamp and uh, as you can see in here, there's a hole. I push this clamp through this hole. You need to lift the unit up here. And then halfway up, you bend it downward so that the clamp will come off this side of the lamp, yeah? And then you push the clamp down through there, yeah? So as you see, how, this is how we release the lamp initially. So the same way we just reverse in action. Press it down, down this gap, let go, there we go. Now the lamp is secured in its place. And then if you turn the housing over, there's a little fuse in here, which I would use a flat blade screwdriver. Put your finger on this fuse because it might jump out and you may lose it. There we go. The fuse is released. Be careful you don't break this plastic ridge, which is holding the lamp, uh, the fuse down. And this fuse, uh, the value of it is, uh, is rated as at 500 milliamp and it's 20 millimeter long. And uh, it's a slow blow or time lag fuse. The technical term for this fuse is a time lag or time delay. 
uh, fuse 500 milliamp you can get it from any electronic shop if you're purchasing your lamp from us this fuse will come in the package anyhow so you don't need to worry about the fuse the fuse will reset the lamps timer as you can see I pushed it back in its place and when you put the uh, lamp back in its place the fuse it should really blow but if it doesn't blow it doesn't matter anyway but uh, anyway it does its job which is to zero the li uh, lights uh, counter you know the lamp counter it was zero that because these lamps when uh, they the first one when it goes through its full cycle the 6,000 or 7,000 hours will remain on the counter so you need to it's imperative to replace the fuse so that the timer is zero and that you're telling the TV that you've got the new lamp in so we have these lamps in stock throughout the year anytime you can always you know purchase them from us and you will get an original Osram lamp from us with manufacturers standard warranty thank you for watching and good luck